Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Erica with Memory Box Candle Co. and I make videos all about making and selling candles. And guys, I'm finally going to be testing out some new waxes. I really hope that you are all just as excited as I am because holy moly have I been talking about it and I just haven't put in the time to do it because as we know, testing and this, this entire process is just, it's a process. So that is definitely the reason why I've been like, I'll just, I'll just keep doing what I'm doing and I'll do that later. But I did want to go over the wax and everything that I'm going to be doing and kind of my testing process and, and what's going on in my head and why I'm doing what I'm doing. And I hope you don't mind. This is the only way that I know how to make these kinds of videos to where I am going to actually do it because if I have to think about it in terms of a week or uh, actually a couple week long process because I'm gonna let these cure for about one to two weeks before I actually test them. And if I try to do that all in one video, it just, it's so overwhelming as a creator to know how long it's going to take to do something and it's really easy to push it off. So the only way that I know how to do it to where I'm actually going to do it is to do it this way. So today's video is just going to be the setup process. So I'm gonna tell you which wax I'm testing, how I'm gonna be testing it, the jars, um, the wicks, everything, the whole process and pour them. And then I'm gonna be making a follow-up video on the burn test. So I hope that that works for all of you. Um, it's honestly the only way that I know that I'm actually going to get this done. So let's go get into what I have going on over here. Also, you guys like the angle? You like the angle of everything that's going on right now? I got this cool little claw device from Amazon and it's holding up my camera right now at a completely different angle. And um, I'm able to get you know a little bit of the light source coming from outside of my window. And then I have my studio light over here and I just think it looks a lot nicer and brighter than doing everything on my gray six foot kind of foldable table. So let's go ahead and get into everything that I have on this table right now. So this wax back here, let me get a little handful of it so you can actually see what it looks like. So this right here is the soy coconut wax. It's very soft. If you are familiar with soy 10, it's similar, but it's even softer. So it's a very, very, very soft wax. And um, this right here, I believe it's the virgin coconut soy wax. I know there's different names. You can get it a couple different places. Um, but uh, yeah, so that's the wax that I'm working with right now. It's a very popular wax. And as I've mentioned before, it's really good to have kind of a secondary wax um, to your main wax that you work with. So this is just my way of doing it. Um, I'm actually going to get this started right here. So this is a portable burner. It's freaking awesome, let me tell you. I I've had another one before in the past and it doesn't hold a candle to this one. And this one, seriously, it heats up really, really well. And um, so I'm just going to click this on just to the first one right there, just to low. And I'll have everything linked in the description box below, just so you know, because this thing, if you're making candles outside of your kitchen or you want to have a little bit more portability with it, highly recommend it. It's freaking awesome. So I'm going to get my jars situated. And these are the jars that I, that I already use and sell. And what I do is whenever I get a shipment in of um, jars, I look and see if there's any jars that are a little too scuffed up or they have a chip on it. So this one right here, it has a little chip on the side of it. This is something that I am actually going to use as a tester. I can't really get up close with that, but hopefully you can see that little spot right there. Um, these uh, I put into a, a separate area of my apartment and these are just for testing. So I have a whole box full of testers and that way I'm not using ones that I could use to sell my actual candles in and they just are here just to test with. So I'm going to take my alcohol this is just my little bottle that I created myself just because I found that spraying it makes it 10 million times faster than using a cotton ball and it's much easier. And I'm trying not to breathe in all of these fumes right now. I'm also trying not to cut myself on this little chip right here. So I'm just gonna go through and essentially just dry these all off because as I've gotten many comments before, I don't wanna leave any alcohol in here because it is flammable, but this is just so that I'm cleaning out the bottom so that the wick stickers can actually adhere to the bottom of the jar. And as long as you 
dry out all the alcohol on here. It's not, it's not gonna cause any issues. Just make sure that you wipe it down really good. Okay, so those are all set and ready to go. And before I forget, I actually went through and I wrote down a couple of these. So I have everything written right here. So this is how I mark the jars just to make sure that I have all the information I need for the testing process. And when I go to do the burn test, I know exactly what the candle is. Um, so it's the soy coconut wax. I do what kind of wax? I do the kind of wick. I do the fragrance oil. And actually I miss something on here. I always do the fragrance oil percentage. So let me write that on there as well. So the fragrance oil percentage and um, I also do the date because obviously that's very important too, to know when you made it. Um, so what I'm gonna be doing is I'm going to be testing uh, double wicks because that's what I'm used to with these jars. So I'm going to be double wicking all of them. So I'm going to double wick one with a CDN two, one with a CDN three. And then I'm also going to be trying my Eco Ones. Now, if you have been following me for quite a long time now, you know that Eco Ones used to be the wicks that I used all the time. So I am going to give it a try. I don't think it is going to do that well, but I wanna give it a try anyways, because honestly, you never know what's gonna happen. I have no idea. Honestly, all of these could be way too hot and way too big for this, because typically I do add in a little bit of beeswax into my soy 10. However, this wax is going to be different. I don't know how it's going to perform with the wicks and the circumference of the jar, which is about 3.25 inches. And the bottom of the jar gets closer to about three inches as well. So we have to be aware of that as well as it burns lower in the jar. So what I am going to do is I am going to use the same fragrance oil for all of these testers. This is my preferred scent. This is the mango and coconut milk from Candle Science. There's something about it that I just, I've used as a tester for pretty much all of my testing processes thus far. And um, it's very, very important to use the same fragrance oil when you are testing different wicks, because with this, we're basically keeping everything the same except for changing one variable. So you wanna make sure every single aspect is going to be the same. So we're gonna use the same wax, the same fragrance oil, the same percentage of fragrance oil, the same jar. The only thing that we are changing up is the wicks. And I highly recommend you don't have to get this, but get a fragrance oil in a 16 ounce bottle if you're just getting started with uh, playing around with candles, whether it's a hobby or you wanna start a business, but you're just getting into candle making. I highly recommend just get one 16 ounce bottle of one fragrance. I know it's not fun. I totally get that it's not fun and it's so much more fun to get a bunch of different fragrance oils, but I promise you that it is going to make it so much better in the testing process. And then once you get the combination that works well, then you can start testing other fragrances. So I get the CDN series from 1617 and I am just going to start sticking these down at the bottom. I don't know why I didn't grab my little device, but I just grabbed this cause it was close enough. So this is just the little device that you can go through and push down at the bottom. And then it sticks down at the bottom of the jar. So I'm just gonna go through and stick this first with the CDN two series and um, as I mentioned before, I think I mentioned before, this is the wicks that I personally use in my soy 10. But again, I do have to blend it with a little bit of beeswax to get it to perform properly. So I could go through this whole process and then realize that I would need to blend this with a little bit of beeswax too. But we are just going to find out as we go along. And again, with the testing process, you really never know what's gonna happen until you try. And I'm just gonna add a wick to this because these weren't pre-wicked. I think these are the Candle Science wicks. So this is going to be down in there. And then one more. And then I actually, you know what? Before I forget, oh, I already took one out. Get ahead of myself. Before I forget, let's make sure. I mean, I guess I have video evidence, but if you're not recording, you're not gonna know when you're doing this at home. So I'm going to, Put that on there for CDN twos. We got CDN threes. And then we have Eco ones. 
And then taking this Sadie and three, putting wick sticker on there. And I kind of messed up that wick sticker. See, I still, I still mess up all the time, guys. I swear. There's so many things that I do, especially when it comes to filming. I swear that is the time when I'm just like, let's be as clumsy as possible and do the absolute wrong, <laughs> wrong thing in this video. So let's push that down. And again, I'm just doing my best with getting these down there as even as I possibly can. And then let's go ahead and grab the bag of Eco One Wicks, which honestly, I have so many Eco One Wicks left and I'm thinking about just doing, I don't know, what do you all think about this? So I know there's the whole like de-stash groups and stuff like that. I'm thinking of just putting a de-stash like, uh, essentially like a collection or something on my website just to give you all the link to the de-stash area because I have so many fragrance oils and other items that I just don't use anymore and wicks and all that kind of stuff. Um, if you'd be interested in that, please let me know and then I can just make a community post about it or something because I have so much crap in my apartment and if I can get rid of some of it, that that would make me very, very happy. And to also help all of you out if you're looking to get a discount on, you know, all this stuff, cause I wouldn't, I don't think I'd charge full price for it. I don't know, depends on what it is. Cause I'll just, you know, do the calculations and see. Um, but now I'm going to take these right here, which I have shown these many, many times before, if it's going to focus on this. These are my um, wick holders. So I will have the Etsy shop linked in my description. Um, I think, I don't know if he was on vacation or if he was taking a break or, cause he's getting like kind of overwhelmed with orders, um, which I think is a good thing, but I know that that can also be really overwhelming. I don't know, I haven't checked his Etsy shop in a while, but I will have that linked in the description box below in case you wanna get any custom um, wick holders. There's also these on here, I believe, the wick sticks that you can use to push down the wicks down inside. Oh, I have to be careful with this little crack right here. Oh my gosh. You know what? I actually think this is kind of dangerous. And the only reason why I say that is because there is, I don't think you would be able to see, but there is a huge crack going down. And the last thing I need is to test this and have it be non-stable. So real fast, I'm gonna redo this one. All right, so I just went out and switched the jars of these. This is still another tester of something that I wasn't able to actually use for um, selling my actual candles on my website. But I went through and I finished all of these, so these are all good to go. And I'm going to just put these all off to the side over here so that we can focus on the measuring of the wax. So I am going to be using a small one pound pouring pitcher for this just because that's all we need really, and it's cute. So I'm gonna put that right there. And I have my scale set to grams. And what I'm gonna be measuring out is 393 grams of wax. And I'm also going to be adding 32 grams of fragrance oil to this as well. It's going to be about an 8% fragrance oil load. And instead of filling these candles up all the way to the top and doing the burn test like that, I'm actually going to be doing a half full jar test. Now I have done this a few times before in the past, um, and I think that it is a really good representation of what the candle is going to be like. It's not perfect, but it gives you a good indication of how the candle is going to burn. So you can tell once it gets down the middle of the jar, which is really important because as it burns down in the jar, it is more likely to start burning hotter than the top of the candle. So that's why it's really good to burn the candle all the way through, especially down about midway and a little bit lower in the jar. So that is what we're going to, going to do today and then kind of decipher after that burn result, which one we wanna retest and start at the top of the candle. So let's go ahead and get into the measuring. So I'm just going to put on my gloves I have this set right here and we're gonna be doing 393 grams of wax. And goodness gracious, this wax is so soft. It's like butter. All I need is just a butter knife to grab this. That is going to be way too big of a chunk. Sometimes I just try to take little scrapes of it to get it right up until then. So it is at 391. 
392.5, so just a tiny bit more. There we go. And I'm, I know I mention this all the time, I'm not like a super big, like, I'm not really strict on exact, exact amounts. Like right now it's at 393.5. That to me is totally fine. I'm gonna turn up the heat right here. Move these out of the way so you can see. So I'm gonna turn this up about medium high heat. It's kind of hard to tell with electric. And I'm gonna put that in there. And I am just gonna go based off of what I know about coconut wax. So I know with coconut wax, you wanna heat it up pretty hot. So I wanna to try to get this to about 200 degrees. Sorry, I'm actually having to do a voiceover right now at this point in the video because there was so much noise going on outside. So essentially I got the temperature up to about 194. I know it wasn't 200, but I did my very best. It's very hard on the double boiler to get it really, really hot. But I just poured in the 32 grams of fragrance oil and then mixed it together for about 30 seconds. And then I usually don't do this, but because I had three different ones, they're all the same wax and fragrance oil. I just wanted to make sure that each one of them was as close to 141 grams as possible. Again, I did my best. I think a couple of them were like 139 or 140 or something like that, as long as it's as close to the middle of the jar as possible. But I just went through on all of them and I just you know, measured out the amount of wax. And um, again, I will have the scale as well as that little silicone pad in the description of this video. So I'll try to remember to put the double boiler and all the stuff that I used in today's video. And in case you're wondering, I did use a thermometer back there that actually has a like a like a probed thermometer um, instead of my laser one that I always use because I wanted to try to be as like specific as possible because I'm not used to working with this wax, whereas the other wax, my Soy 10, I'm really used to working with that one, so it's much different. Um, but that is going to do it for part one of today's testing video with the Soy Coconut Wax. I hope you guys enjoyed and stay tuned in a couple of weeks from now and I will do an update on the burn test results. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, as well as follow me over on Instagram at Memory Box Candle Co. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.